They uh, someone pointed out though. Don't forget that when enough did the Get Money remix mm-hmm. with Jiv. With sure. Jiv, got gotcha. so, sure, yes. Gotta make sure Jiv gets his credit. No, no, you guys co-produced it. Hundred percent. So you and Jiv produced that. That sample ended up being what Tupac used for "Hit 'Em Up." Yeah, it broke my heart. Did yeah, that must have been a crazy feeling? That they, hurt. I, I, I didn't forget that. I just didn't connect it. Yeah. You know, you know how that felt. We were on the road, and we were literally in Texas. Yeah. We were doing a show with the Ghetto Boys. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it was Ice Cube and Mr. Scarface. Mm-hmm. Anyway, one of the Texas groups. Yeah. And after we finish our show, we're leaving the arena and everyone's bumping. Hit them up. That's, <sighs> the first, that's the first time I heard it. Yeah. Remember, there's no, there's no Spotify. No. Again. There's, there's no, just, yeah, YouTube. That's it. There's the a, street was YouTube. There's like 64 Chevy Impalas convertibles with banging sound systems playing and hit candy up. paint playing hit them up. Wow. Outside the arena. And it's like, oh shit, this you, is crazy. Can you, o- honestly, can you listen? Do you listen to Hit 'Em Up? Do you play Hit 'Em Up out? I never in my life played Hit 'Em Up one time. Really? Not one time. I was, I was gonna say I, I don't. Kept, I kept the loyalty to my guy even after he died. You can never play Hit 'Em Up even in Jersey. No, nah, never. Because you know Jersey loves Pac like 100%. to a different level. And you'll play the other. You'll play other Pac songs. A hundred percent. I got my favorite Pac song. Any yeah. other Pac diss songs? No, just the one hit him up is not happening. It's not happening. No. You'll play other songs though, where they might be a mention. Yeah, but that, the hit him up was too much. Just hit him up. I, I got to tell you, Saif, I, this may sound incredibly nerdy yeah. as someone who never even met Biggie. I've never played it. I've played it. I've, I've, I love I, you for that. Thing. I've never played it. It's too much. But it's I, too far. I, you know what's funny? I never played it until I saw Doo play it. <laughs> oh, don't blame Doo Why no, don't no. you? I, I've noticed you have a lot of doo wop. Uh, I love doo wop, bro. I know. I get it. <laughs> I, I, I he's love one him of my too. favorite DJs. Yeah, he. A lot of my style is. I'm not gonna say based on it, but inspired by him. But he he played hit him up at speed. But he he was like, I gotta play this. But also, he talked his shit over it, and then he would play Who Shot You right after. Okay, got it. Okay, which I understood. Also, I don't love that street mentality either because it, you know, that begets. Violence begets violence, but but I but I saw the, his his theatrics of the way he did it because mm-hmm. uh, it is it is a big record in the clubs. But yeah, I just felt hurtful. weird. It's the way it's like even right now. I was about to play it when we were talking about yeah. it, and I'm like, I don't want to play that in front of enough. Yeah, that feels nice. like disrespect. Like it just yeah. even the way he started, I was Good I was call. always it Good was too call. much. Thank Good you, call. thank you. I asked Faith. Um, what? I'm I'm part of a project that might be coming on the television soon. You mean A and E? We already talked about but, it, but now it's getting closer. So uh, not, oh, now I can't. Now they don't want to talk about A and E asked me to take down the Pete Nice interview. They did. Yeah, because they want it for TV. No, because we shot it in the we same were shooting, and and we mentioned that, sh- and they were like, "You need to take that down." I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll tell my producer to take it." I didn't take it down, but, <laughs> but I, I appreciate you. But anyway, that- so. Um, but yeah, I asked Faith about that, and she was like, "That shit was funny." What Which that part? part? Like, not the not what happened. What, Faith had twins. No, the, that's the that's I was why I fucked your boy. Oh, she, <laughs> she laughed like, at it. She was like, "He's wildin'." That <laughs> yeah. was one of the craziest. Yeah, it's crazy. That that was, but I don't know what I was more offended by, as uh, as a heavy set person myself. <laughs> the, the you fat motherfucker part, or I, that's why I fucked your wife. Both bothered me. Both would really bother me. So, but was, that, so like you produced, you and Jiv produced Get Money Remix. So that means like, that means it was so popping. Mm-hmm. They were like, yo, let get him on his own shit. We, that was the point. Because that record was so on fire and he, whatever Pac was listening to, like, rhyme on that. Did you, did you ever hear Biggie talk about Hit Him Up? Never. So I, I want because he was always. Here's the one thing I want to ask you: how how was Biggie always so sort of lighthearted? He really, to me, always seemed to want to play it down. Like even when he said, "If Faith had twins, she'd probably have two Pox." Get it? That's to get it to Pox. He's taking a really serious thing that someone said that most people really would go crazy over, and he's kind of just like flipping it on its head and making it. Was that just was that, that his was, nature? That was kind of him, yeah, hundred percent. You know, you gotta remember, Biggie came from a rough side of town, and it's either we pulling guns out, or I'm just I'm gonna just laugh this off. Look what Faith did. Faith did the same thing. She laughed it off. 
But sometimes, thing. sometimes at, you get to a certain point. What are you gonna do but laugh it off? I remember I was talking to what Nori could you once. Do? What could you right. do? I was talking to Nori once. He goes, "Why is every hood movie about all the bad shit in the hood?" He goes, "We had mad fun in the hood. Yeah, that's we true. were laughing that's true. all the time with all that's your friends outside. That's true. They only show like crack dealers are always so sick. Crack, okay." I when I started when I was doing improv comedy mm-hmm. and it was like it's very it's a very white art form, right? White college kids do it. And I was like, when I started taking classes, I was like, they're just doing what drug dealers on the corner do all day long. Make up voices, <laughs> roast each other, laughing, mm-hmm. doing little scenes and shit, like, yo, he had that girl like this. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Right. And I was like, they don't even know, like Biggie said. Either you sell crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot. That's right. Or you do improv comedy. I didn't know that. But you added that line? I added that. Because <laughs> Biggie definitely didn't say that. No, but he did he not should've. mention the improv comedy. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. When you're in the hood, you laugh shit off like well, that. Well, do you remember do you, uh, one of the most, uh, I think one of the better one eps of all time, uh, the late great prodigy told us that he straight laughed off the ballerina, the entire yeah. Jay-Z. Mm. He wasn't joking. He really openly laughed in front yeah. of us. He was like, that shit was funny. He was like, I was. He was like, hey, my grandmother made a lot of money. That was her business. Mm. And grandmother B, was famous. She was like, he was like, it, he was like, but the picture's funny. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it's not funny. Yeah. Um all Find right. that clip, Billy. But but real quick, I just want to touch on what you were just saying. I don't know, I don't know if anyone knows this. I used to DJ for Little Kim. Oh my mm. goodness. So I so how I was introduced to Tupac and Machiavelli was through Lil C's. Mm-hmm. We, he was, they would bump when the Machiavelli came out. He's dis, I'm like, he's dissing you in this song. He's like, yeah, but the music fired him. <laughs> and then we go do a show in Florida in a, on, a, on a native reservation, the Seminoles, right? And... The show was two days later, but we had to go early because Kim was coming from somewhere else. So we're in a janky, a janky motel on the reservation or some shit. Okay. And people knew we were there and they were driving pickup trucks, circling the hotel, bumping the new Machiavelli album mm. and just circling. And I was like, yo, what's, what's good? And yo, they're like, people, nah. love, people love that. Yeah, they like, they always do that. They always do that. They always like play Tupac around us, try to like. It was crazy. Uh, but you know what? That makes sense. People would do that. That's like trolling. It's tro- It's literally it is. live trolling. That's live trolling. You said it. Live trolling. You said it, my brother.